Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we have an equation for the equivalent two-lens system, at least the equation to find the focal length of two lenses combined, now let's try to find the equation for three lenses combined. How do we do that? Well, here we have an example of what that might potentially look like. We have two converging lenses in between a diverging lens. All three have different focal lengths, and we're trying to find the total or the equivalent focal length of the three combined with the assumption that the distance between them is equal to zero. We saw that the total or equivalent focal length for two lenses can be found by taking the product over the sum of the two lenses. This can, also, of course, also be written as 1 over the focal length, or the total focal length is equal to 1 over f1 plus 1 over f2. It's the same equation, it's the equivalent equation. So how do we approach that? Well, let's assume for a moment that one of these two is already the combination of two of the lenses. So what we can do is as follows. We can say that f total, oh, I don't need a capital F for that. I like to use small f's. So, but I want to use a capital T like this. If the total focal length of the three combined, we're going to, want to denote that. And then we're going to denote that the focal length of just the first two is equal to f with a small t, which means that this is now going to be equal to f with a small t times f3 divided by, uh, let's see here, that would be the sum of ft plus f3. So here we're going to use the same principle. In this case, the total focal length of the first two lenses is going to be considered to be a single focal length, and then we're going to have a third lens attached to that. So we're going to rewrite the equation like that. Now we're going to replace what f small t is equal to, which is basically the focal length of the first two lenses. So this can now be written as the product f1, f2 over f1 plus f2 multiplied times f3 and divided by here, again, that's going to be written as f1, f2 over f1 plus f2, but in this case, we're going to add the focal length of the third lens to that. Now, notice that both in the numerator and the denominator, we have a denominator that says f1 plus f2. We have it over here, we have it over there. We don't have it there, but we could probably simplify the equation by multiplying both the top and the bottom by f1 plus f2. So let's go ahead and do that. So multiply the top by f1 plus f2, and we'll do the same for the bottom, f1 plus f2. Okay, if we do that, the equation will look as follows. So now we have the total focal length of all three lenses to be equal to this times this will cancel that out. So this will cancel out with this, and we're left with f1, f2, f3 in the numerator divided by, in the denominator, this will cancel out with that. That leaves us with an f1 times f2 plus f3 times f1 plus f2. Rewrite the bottom a little bit to make it look better. So the total focal length for all three lenses combined would be the product of all three lenses, f1, f2, f3 divided by, in the denominator we have f1 times f2 plus f1 times f3 plus f2 times f3. And now we have a new equation that tells us what the focal length will be when we have three lenses put together, all with three different focal lengths. The total or equivalent focal length will be the product of all three divided by the first one multiplied times the second one, the first multiplied by the third one, and the second one multiplied by the third one. And that together will give you the new focal length of all three lenses. That's how it's done.